Hey, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And in this video, I'm going to share my experience with you with my network adapter that keeps disconnecting intermittently or just randomly. And I know I'm not the only one because in my research for my issues, I found that many others are experiencing it. Now, my motherboard is the X570 Tachi Razor from ASRock. And it's not specific to this motherboard, but maybe specific to this manufacturer and the type of nick that they're using however i'm still trying to gather data on it if you are one of the few impacted please let me know in the comments below but the first troubleshooting step that you can try is to go to the start menu go to your settings and inside your settings you're going to click on network and internet when you go to network and internet at the bottom you'll see a network reset when you click this and then click reset now you will have a pop-up on screen it will give you a time letting you know that your computer will restart. So don't click this until you're ready to restart. You saved all your documents, programs, or otherwise. Try this first, right? Reset your network uh, settings, and when you reset it, try it out. See if it winds up disconnecting again in the future. Additionally, you can always go check out your motherboard manufacturer's website for the latest drivers. And what I like to do is compare what they have on their website to what I can find online, but be very careful. First off, let me show you what I mean. We go to the manufacturer website, doesn't matter if it's ASRock, ASUS, whatever. Search your manufacturer name, the model number of your motherboard, and then nine times out of 10, there's a support button somewhere. Click on support, and then you're gonna see that we can go to download, and then here are all the latest drivers for our motherboard. You can go ahead and make sure that they're up to date for everything, your chipset, LAN, wireless, whatever it may be, but something i notice is is driver version right here 10.043 remember that when i google killer e3100g and let me show you how i got this if you right click and i actually have it open but if we right click on the start menu and go to device manager this will open up the device manager window and under network adapters which may be collapsed if you open it we can see our network adapter the killer e3100g 2.5 gigabit ethernet controller be careful though when you Google this. When you type in killer E3100G driver or even add the whole name and the word driver, you're gonna get a bunch of these websites that are like, you know, driver installer, driver instrument, uh, and you know, optimizer, this and that. Be very careful. You really wanna get this from official sources. I'm going directly to intel.com and you can see that this revision, which says the latest, is actually on 10.047. And then the one previous to that was also 10.047. So actually, ASRock hasn't had an update for this particular driver since 10 15 2020, while this one I was last reviewed on 7 20 2021. Now, this was just reviewed, may have not been updated, but just keep that in mind. You can grab this driver. What I would recommend, and I'm not going to do it right now on screen, but grab the driver, follow the steps. It's just a basic driver. You just install it just like anything else restart your system and then test over the next couple weeks see how it runs see how it goes and see if you have any disconnects if you do have some random disconnects anyway then let's move on to the next step i'll have this list down below but in the device manager again if we right click on our network adapter and go to properties there's a couple of tabs here that we can look at uh, if you go to the advanced tab to enable or disable for advanced eee they're saying enable for ARP offload, they're saying enable, which mine was already um, established. EEE max support speed, one gigabit uh, per second full duplex. And I can change it to 2.5, but my router is my diminishing or my bottleneck in this network. Uh, eventually, I plan on upgrading to 10 gigabit. But you can go ahead and switch that to one if it's not already. Energy efficient Ethernet. You can go ahead and disable that gigabyte uh, gigabit light. You can go ahead and disable that green ethernet. You can go ahead and disable that interrupt moderation. We can go ahead and disable that jumbo frame, which it doesn't have every single setting in here, but this is just some settings that I've tested and it worked for me. So I'm sharing it with you. However, do as you see fit NS offload enable which mine is already power saving mode this is disabled power saving mode may be the biggest thing that's slowing you down or stopping you 
or disconnecting you for some odd reason. It happened to me when I was doing a heavy network share across the network. It happened to me while I was streaming content off my main machine. It happened to me while gaming. So it really varies and I haven't been able to put my finger on it, what it is exactly. But I, again, I would like to hear from you of where you're seeing most of your disconnects. Now receive side scaling right here. They say we can leave that enabled and then speed duplex um, as we talked about. Uh, my We can leave it on auto negotiate, which is gonna pick what my router is capable of or my switch is capable of, which is one gigabit per second. So it, I'm just gonna leave it on auto negotiate, but some people just go ahead and choose it on manual, um, which is one gigabit per second according to this list. Additionally, going back to that previous section that we were just in, power saving mode, if this is getting in the way and if you just want to change this and you're not comfortable changing all the other settings I just mentioned, you can go here, you can go to power management and then you can go ahead and uncheck these boxes to allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. I don't like having allow the device to wake the computer. Usually a lot of people turn those on to have like a remote wake. Uh, but I normally leave this off and then for power save, we can go ahead and disable that and just see how that works. Maybe there is some type of power save trip that is uh, causing your disconnect so you can try this not adjust any of these settings and if it still continues to disconnect you come back to the advanced tab and try out some of these settings to see how it works now last ditch effort for everything and again I'll have all this down in the description below is if we go back to our motherboard manufacturer website we can always update the BIOS I say this is the last ditch uh, option because if something were to go wrong like your system uh, you know the house loses power in the middle of a BIOS update that could break your motherboard then you got to send it back to the manufacturer a lot of motherboards come today with some type of BIOS flashback or uh, you know the USB port on the back of the motherboard will allow you to you know plug a USB drive into it with the BIOS and then you can do it that way or they have uh, dual BIOS setups so it really depends check your motherboard if you have flashback a way to like if you look on the back of your motherboard and it has the box around a particular USB you should be good if you got dual BIOS you should be good but you want to download the latest version beta BIOS I would urge you to be cautioned or I would caution you against it because if your system is working very well CPU memory everything's running really great it's just a nick maybe the beta BIOS is not going to do anything for you but you could try it and update the BIOS to see if that alleviates this disconnect issue. But I am not the only one. You're not the only one. I hope this helps you out in some form or fashion. Let me know your experience, what you're seeing on your end. Is there a particular game or program or something that you're running that always you always get disconnected on? I want to know. But that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bells to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links down below that helps support the channel like thedojo.com where you can get some merchandise and much more. You all have a great day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.